Blue, what was it that made you think, yep, Forest Green's where I want to go? Uh, funny enough, I watched uh, their games last season. I just thought I'd watch the playoffs and watch every single one. And then the team that caught my eye was Forest Green. I thought I'd, they played really good football, they are attacking very well, and like I said, I just thought it's just, this this looks like a good club, but never never thought I'd come and join them. But I just don't, like I said, they were they were a bit unlucky with the two sending offs, like in, one in the first leg and one in the second leg. But I thought I'd really like to look at this club. So when they were in for you, presumably it's a very easy decision to make. <laughs> yeah, I was actually quite that's actually quite surprised really. I was like I, said, I was on in, in international, and I got a call from agent said them um, for his green interested. I said. I can't say no to this. This is a great club, so there was. I said, let's get it done. Really, to be fair, and here I am. You mentioned international duty there. You've had seven caps for Gambia. The most recent one 0 win over Morocco this summer. Uh yes, that was a massive win. Obviously, the players you play against, like Ziyech, Bufal, Benatia. I think it's one of the you want to test yourself against the best players, and obviously, the guys have played in Champions League. Some have probably won it. I think it's a good standard to put a uh, test against. So it's really good, especially to beat them as well. And to come into the Football League, having been at um, Ebbs Fleet in the National League, how much does actually having played international just help you, having played higher up the level as well? Uh, I think it helps quite a lot, to be fair. Obviously, when you're playing against the best players, like you said, playing international, you're playing against the best players, i.e. Uh, Mares, uh, Ziyech, Bufal, I think you want to, it pushes you an extra 10, 15% really to be a better player because you want to better them, don't you? So. I think that puts me in a good position to do well, well here, really, I guess. The last 18 months seems to be when you've played most of your games, obviously at Leighton Orient and then at, at Ebsley. How big was last season for you in terms of establishing yourself? Uh, I think it was quite, it's quite big. I think the main uh, target was for me to get as many games as possible and to perform as well, which for me, I thought I did really well. I think I enjoyed my time at Orient, enjoyed my time at um, Ebsley. I think it's now to now uh, before it's green. I think it's now to start to do the same here. Another opportunity then to show what you can do, I suppose. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it's a, it's a, from what I've seen, it's a great club, and I'm looking to show what I can do here. You've played a lot of football on the eastern side of England. How big is it moving west? Uh, <laughs> we'll find out, really. Isn't it? Uh, I've played a lot of football in the east. Yeah, I've just I you playing for Norwich, Ebsley, and Orient. I think it'd be different. I'm looking forward to it. And what can the Forest Green fans expect from you as a player? What sort of player are you? Uh, first and foremost, I'm a player. I'll give 110 percent, no matter what. I would probably die hard, do whatever. And I'm, I'm known as a box-to-box -box player. Up and down, love defending. I love attacking. I just love being involved in the game, and love winning the ball back. And like I said, I would do almost everything for the team. And the style of football that's played here, obviously that's impressed you. How much is that something that you just want to get involved with? If we start today, I'll be very eager to get going. I'll let you know that for now. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get going and meet the lads. And what do you feel the aims can be here this season for Forest Green? Because the bar's already been set pretty high. Yeah, it has been set pretty high. But like I said, I don't want to say anything yet. <laughs> but we're looking for it. I think it will be a really good season. I'm looking forward to it. Good man, thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. You started your career at Norwich. How important of a grounding was that as your career's progressed? Uh, started at Dartford, to be fair, and I quite surprised with the move to Norwich because I was 20 at the time and I thought to myself, I, I don't think I'd make it in the, in the Football League. And then um, I think I just had a, a run of good games. I think it was 16 games on the bounce where I'd started playing well. And then I heard about Norwich at first, didn't take any notice. And then he got serious and serious. And I'm at uni, I'm thinking, I got a call from my manager. I was saying, he said to me, oh, you have to come have a meeting about a club that's interested in you. And I thought, who's this? He went, Norwich. I looked at oh my God. Looked to, I looked at the league and it was a Premier League team. And I was like, oh my God. But that's how things change. And I think I've been, me being at Norwich, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot of, as a person, as an athlete. And I think it's made me the player I am today, which I'm grateful for. You had a spell at Orient. Uh, I believe you played with Macaulay Bond, who's just gone into the championship with uh, Charlton. Um, and that's somewhere where Forest Green want to go. Oh, it is indeed. Uh, to be fair, I congratulated him the other day. Uh, massive kudos to him. And yeah, it's a target for uh, Forest Green. I think they can do it. They give it a couple of years. Like I said, the football they've been doing, I've watched it and it's, it's impressed me a lot. And I think they can compete 
up in the Championship League One comfortably. So we'll see. What, first, we've got to deal with this season first and see where it takes us. All the best. Thank you very much. And having been at Norwich, what, uh, what was that experience like? And do you feel that you can sort of get back to that level? Is that is that the aim? Uh, it's always been the target. Like I said, uh, when I did get released from Norwich, I never, I was never down at the, at the time because I knew I could get there again. I've done it once, why not do it again? And like I said, what I've learned from Norwich, I can use it again and do what I did. And then see where it takes us. Yeah, and Forest Green, good place to, to try and climb up like that because it has got a record of players going on to higher levels. I did, I, like, I did see um, clubs interested in some of the players. That, like I said, I've seen some of the players they play with, young players, which is pretty good. And it's a good chance for us young players to do well and, mm. like I say, make it to get a step on or even take Forest Green into get a promotion. I have one way or the other, I guess.